So Mel, it's been an exciting summer for recoveries down in Florida. Can you tell me a little bit about the history of the, the shipwrecks that artifacts have been found from? Yes. In 1715, 298 years ago, 11 vessels were loaded and staged in Havana, Cuba. And their intention was to sail back to Cadiz in Spain. Shortly after leaving uh, Cuba, though, the fleet encountered a horrific hurricane just off the east coast of Florida. And unfortunately, only one of the vessels made it back to its destination in Europe. What kind of cargo was on the ships? Ah, uh, the ships were loaded with the treasure and wealth of the Spanish main. There was gold, silver, hundreds of passengers, incredible uh, goods of the Manila galleon trade, which would have included uh, porcelains, silks, and spices. All of this wealth uh, destroyed by the hurricane and uh, left on the beaches of Florida. And what was found this summer? Uh, this summer. July the 13th, uh, Saturday, there were 48 gold doubloons found in one uh, small pocket of treasure just offshore, probably less than 20 feet of water, uh, under about four feet of sand, uh, no more than uh, 20 yards uh, off the, uh, the actual beach. These gold doubloons would have been uh, produced in Santa Fe de Bogota, Bogota, Colombia today, and uh, from the uh, city, Mexico City. They're a little bit uh, smaller than a dime, very high carat gold, uh, need no conservation, uh, no restoration or cleaning. Quite beautiful. Where do you think these were stored on the ship? Possibly, this would have been one passenger's bag, pouch, box of wealth. It could have been a, a, a merchantman. But um, a, common, a common person would not have carried uh, so much wealth at one time. It was a lot of money and um, very possibly could have been attached to the person uh, during this disaster. There is no evidence of a bag or pouch or box uh, around the coins. The only thing that was there is the gold. Everything else... Uh, history has wiped away. You mentioned the find being very close to shore. How did the shipwreck come to be so close to the shore? Well, the, the ships uh, at that time without modern navigational or uh, weather devices would have hugged the coastline for as long as possible before making the right-hand turn uh, for the run to Europe. And with uh, the admirals and generals uh, on board, certain you know officers would have uh, have been more reassured by being in sight of land. And unfortunately, when a hurricane approaches very quickly out of the Caribbean, uh, that close into the coastline, there's no way that the vessels could turn out to deeper waters and save themselves. So um, that assurance of of land actually put them in greater harm's, harm's way and um, they were not able to turn out uh, and, and get past the, uh, the point of Cape Canaveral. Were there recovery efforts shortly after the shipwreck? Oh yes, the Spanish disaster there left hundreds of survivors on the beaches uh, and these were, these were important people, wealthy people and rescue efforts uh, would have uh, been organized very quickly. The tremendous amount of wealth that many ships lost at one time with those quantities of gold and silver on board, uh, not only did the Spanish authorities respond very quickly, but the pirates also, uh, the pirates of, over the Bahamas knew about these treasures and this wealth the Spanish organized uh, recovery efforts, built little 
uh, fortifications to protect the recoveries, but still the pirates came and uh, were willing to, to fight them on the beaches for the gold and silver. It was, uh, it went on, the Spanish stayed there for more than 15 years. There was so much wealth. When you consider uh, there would have been uh, tens and tens of thousands of pieces of eight, and one piece of eight would have supported a family at that time for more than a week. Uh, it was just too much wealth uh, to be ignored by the world at that time. So everyone wanted a slice of it, that knew about it and heard about it. The uh, Eventually, though, subsequent hurricanes and storms uh, sank the material deeper and deeper, and the Spanish were no longer to, able to recover uh, significant amounts of the wealth, and they moved away too. Um, this left uh, material uh, available to modern recovery. We know that uh, with one ship making it back, 10, uh, ten lost, uh, best information now indicates six vessels are accounted for, four remain undiscovered. So the hull structure, main pile, or ballast pile of those wrecks are still being looked for. What are some of the methods that are currently being used to try and recover that material? The big challenge in that area of Florida, the east coast south of Cape Canaveral, is the sand. Uh, the sand migration is from north to south and quite a bit of it uh, flows down the coastline and over the years uh, there would be something of 4 to 15 to 20 feet of sand in some of those areas along the coast. So getting that out of the way to get down to the bedrock uh, is quite a challenge. The uh, method used most commonly, uh, more so than dredging, would be uh, blowing the sand off of the sites using the prop wash of a vessel that is securely anchored and then deflecting that prop wash underneath the vessel to make uh, these small uh, pits, almost like foxholes, in the sand down to the bedrock. And within those, high-powered metal detectors are used by divers to locate targets. Uh, unfortunately, there are a lot of uh, uh, fishing weights, leads, beer cans, and other targets uh, also in those in those sites, and it all sounds the same when you're using the metal detector, and every bit of it has to be uh, dug up and uh, brought back on board. What are the future plans for recovery efforts on the site? Well, the uh, technology still is improving uh, the ability to see gold and silver under several feet of sand has to be perfected to, uh, to speed up this process. At this time, um, the, uh, the methods that are used are still rudimentary and uh, it's, it's very time consuming. It's a big ocean and finding a needle in a haystack would be a, an easy venture uh, compared to this uh, trying to find uh, galleons located under the sands of, uh, of the Atlantic Ocean.